What's up guys, Brendan Hancock here with another episode of Groove Subaru Today, and today we are just outside Boulder, Colorado at the Switzerland Trailhead. And today we're gonna take this beautiful 2019 Subaru Forester Sport out on the trails to test out the all new X mode available on the 2019 Forester. Let's go hit the trail. Alright, so this is definitely a video that I have wanted to do for quite some time. Uh, we did an older X-Mode video a while back, um, you know, and the trail was pretty short and stuff like that, so it wasn't really what I wanted to get out of it. Um, but so to talk about this, a couple things we did, though, on the actual car before we went here. Totally bone stock, everything is stock the way it is, um, but what we did do was we did actually uh, take some air out of the tires actually. And the reason for that's a couple things. One, especially when you're going on some pretty bumpy stuff like this road is, um, you know, the road, it could be pretty harsh, you know? So um, taking some air out of the tires definitely helps to uh, make for a much more comfortable ride, that's for sure. Um, the other reason for it is it's gonna help with grip. So uh, it's going to help the tires to grip on much better than they would um, if they were fully inflated. Now, there's a compromise here though. So if you take too much air out, uh, then you're obviously losing on some ground clearance, which is not ideal. So uh, this car comes with 8.7 inches of ground clearance, just like a couple other Subarus you might be familiar with, the Crosstrek, the Outback, the Ascent. All of those also have Exmo. So there's really not a, a crazy amount of difference here. And they didn't do, to be honest with you, they didn't do all that much uh, to change X mode, they just kind of set it up a little bit differently. So uh, for those of you not really aware of what X mode is, X mode is an off-road mode that Subaru has available on many of its cars, like I mentioned, Forester, Ascent, Crosstrek, uh, and Outback. And what it does is it's for very slow speeds, under 18 miles an hour, and I think they might have increased the speeds a little bit on this newer one here, but really in scenarios where you could go, you know, 25 plus miles an hour, you're not even using X mode. Uh, and to be honest with you right now, I'm not even using it. I don't even need to. Um, but what it does is it has a throttle control management system that helps prevent slippage and actually sends power to the wheels at the most traction. Typically in an all-wheel drive system, you know, just driving along on the highway and stuff, the car is going to send power to the wheels at the least amount of traction to kind of take the path of least resistance. Now, obviously, if you're in a slippery situation, uh, that's not going to be the thing that you want necessarily. You don't, you don't want those wheels going to the ones with the least traction. You want it to go to the one with the most traction. So, um, so that's, that's really what it does. And with the new 2019 Forester, and this is the only car that really does this, they've changed the way they set up X mode. So on a cross track, ascent, that kind of stuff, um, there's just a button that says X mode, right? So you push it, it puts it into X mode. On this one, there's a different dial now. So if you look down here, it has snow and dirt mode and then deep snow and mud mode. So if I twist it into snow and dirt mode, I'm gonna see this screen up here change a little bit. Shows me a traction monitor, gives me an inclinometer and stuff, and it has a cool little graphic and stuff on there as well. Oops, sorry, going forward. Um, so this is what you would use, you know, on just a road like this for the most part. So I have turned on X mode here. Uh, this is what you'd use on a road like this, you know, and stuff like that. Um, now, if I turn it to deep snow and mud. It's essentially the same thing as regular X mode. The only difference is that it's turning off traction control. And what traction control is, is you know you want it on 99% of the time, right? Uh, but what it does is if it senses slippage on a tire, it applies pressure to the brake on that wheel uh, and you know to, to prevent you from spinning out and stuff like that, which is great most of the time. However, if you are in a foot of snow or in deep mud or something like that, that isn't really something that you want. You know, you don't want it to apply pressure to the brake, um, you know, because you actually need the wheels to spin a little bit in order for them, uh, in order to get out of that sticky situation. So uh, in that type of scenario, you, you know, you'd want traction control off, but for most of the time, you don't want it off. So in our circumstance here, we're gonna just keep it on snow and dirt mode. So we are rocking and rolling. You know, this hill is not super crazy to be, to be honest with you. This isn't like, you know, you're doing crazy rock crawling, stuff like that. You know, I mean, really, you know, you, you can push these cars to the max, you know, but this is not gonna take you to a place of like a Rubicon trail, but this can definitely get you off the beaten path for sure, uh, and has plenty of capability. Now, we did take the air out of the tires, like I said. One of the biggest things that I think you could do uh, in terms of trying to upgrade, you know, your, your Forester to make it a little bit more beefy, a little bit more off-road worthy, 
would be to upgrade the tires. You know, these are all season tires. They're not designed to be aggressive off-road tires per se. And with the added grip and traction that you can get with tires like that, really definitely something to consider if you're gonna be taking them into trails. However, we're clearly having no difficulty whatsoever on this road. So for the most part, for most people, uh, you're probably fine just doing whatever uh, and just keeping these stock tires. All right, now one of the other elements of X mode is going to be a feature called hill descent control. And what that is, is when I'm on a downhill, it's gonna use the traction and stability control. So like right now, I'm not touching the brake. I'm going six miles an hour and I can see X mode flashing telling me it's kicking in, uh, the hill descent control is. And what that does is it's using the traction stability control to slow me down, to keep me at a nice slow speed below 10 miles an hour so that I, right now, I don't need to shift into a lower gear. I don't need to do anything like that. All I need to do is just focus on the trail and focus on where my tires are going uh, and stuff like that, which is really nice because, um, you know, a couple other cars, and you know, they have things like, you know, off-road cruise control, so on and so forth. Uh, this is essentially the same thing. It's going to keep you at a slow speed. Now, I may, like, gain one mile per hour here or there, something like that, but nothing too major, which is awesome. All right, so been driving this trail for a little while uh, and I must say quite impressed with the Subi's ability to to handle some of this stuff um, you know when you're searching for a car you know you need I think one of the best things about the Subaru Forester is that it's really hey yo, whoop, um, is that it's really a, a, a nice fine balance you know you look at other cars like a Jeep Wrangler or hey oh gotta slow down for this one here we go little creepy crawly up thing no big deal no scrapes no sounds we're good um you know you gotta think about okay well, what am i going to use this for 99 percent of the time and most people you know they're not going off road all that often you know so to buy you know a jeep wrangler or you know a trd pro and stuff like that um you know if you're only going to go off road once in a in a blue moon it doesn't really make a lot of sense you know and then the, the biggest thing is that you waste so much money on gas. I mean, those things are guzzlers. Uh, whereas this one gets, you know, mid thirties on fuel economy. Gotta slow down here. If you're going to periodically, uh, you know, do things like, you know, disperse camping and uh, want to get to some campgrounds that are a little bit farther away, uh, you know, from the crowded areas where people are just parking their Honda Odyssey, like right on the side of the road and just camping right there. Um, this is a great option and you're getting excellent fuel economy and you have the reliability of Subaru and not only is this going to get you to these cool places, we got a big one. Here we go. Boop. There we go. Uh, is it going to get you to these cool places, but it's also extremely good in the snow. And that is a huge thing to consider. Um, so especially, you know, New England or Midwest, you know, areas that get a lot of snow and stuff like that. Um, you know, you need to focus on, on stuff like that. So plenty of room, plenty of tech, plenty of safety, clearly plenty of capability. Um, this is a very fine balance of everything you need in a very, hey yo, hey yo, oop, there we go. Very uh, well-rounded package, I would say. A true renaissance vehicle, so to speak. So, uh, oh, all in all, I'm actually excited because I'm gonna get my wife to take her Forester off-road. <laughs> Well, that was certainly a blast. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys found this video to be helpful. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give us a like below. And for more helpful videos, subscribe to our channel. To check out our most recent inventory of 2019 and 2020 vehicles at Groove Subaru, visit our website at GrooveSubaru.com. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time on Groove Subaru Today. Take care.